to overshoot. Let's slow down. Let's put it in place. There we go. SAS on. Splendid. Okay, let's go one more. Carefully approaching the target. I mean, we're still con. Oh, how are we? Ah, okay. Okay, I see. I see. That's cool. Oh, yeah. What's the distance actually? To like. Carbon. What's carbon distance? I mean, they are like. Altitudes. I don't see the distance, unfortunately. Hmm. That's pretty bad. Huh. Oh well. Oh, what's your altitude? 11. Okay. 11 million. Okay, so let's speed up a bit more. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Getting the connection going from carbon directly, which is neat. 26, let's speed up a bit. 14, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5. Okay. Okay, we have 30 seconds, apparently. And what I would like to do is 15 seconds. It's 15 on the clock, let's double up. Should be fine. Should be fine. If we done this, I'll eat a couple of chips. Just real quick to get me going. Or keep me going. And then we shall send up the next satellites. Making a nice little satellite network here. Should be fine. So I'll do one which goes like this. Chasing the dot, chasing the dot. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. Happy, happy, happy. It's one to eight ninety. Okay, cool. I love to know what those buttons are. First, second, I see how it is, I see how it is, cool. So let's swap around, are we going this way, okay, let's see how the connection is. Currently we have connection with Kerbin and we would have connection with the satellite as well. Kerbin is going, the satellite is still here, which is good, still have Kerbin connection. Still have carbon connection. Carbon is gone. Satellite swaps in. Cool. We will have. Okay, that's critical. Critical point here. 
Now we are coming to the point in which we are going blind. Or potentially going blind. But we don't. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And Kerbin is back. This satellite network is working out better than I ever anticipated. Sweet. Sweet. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with this result. Okay, that's, that's against. We want to go prograde, not retrograde. Actually, we want to go retrograde. What am I talking about? We want to lower this to like 890. Yeah, let's say 900. Let's say 900. Just for good measurements. Boop, wonderful. Cool. There we go. We'll wait until we hit the periapsis in three minutes. That's all right. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Okay, let's slowly and steady reduce this to 900. Sweet. Okay, cool. We are where we need to be. I think I actually will keep the one satellite dish which points towards Carbon. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. If I swap you to Carbon directly. So what's your what's your vibe? Okay, so you basically oh we win hmm We need a pretty low orbit as it seems. Okay. But nonetheless we're doing good. He's putting stuff over here. We're very well in the thing. Splendid. Let's make a quick save again. Let's go to this satellite. I just want to quickly check if we actually target at the other satellite or if we have... I think we have... yeah. Let's see... Minmus. Test satellite to Mun. You go away. And you still have connection. Now, are you still active? Nanopest, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Mad scientist over here. Whoop, whoop. Hello, how are you doing? Good, sir. Hope you have an amazing Friday afternoon. Mad scientist indeed. I mean, we're here above the Mun, trying to get our little satellite network up and running. And here we are. Here we are indeed. You just missed my launch of the little Mun satellite, which I'm putting into orbit. Which is in the orbit. Which is in the orbit. And I'm just adjusting the network a little bit in order to keep going here. So, next one will be Minmus, I guess. I think Minmus should be fine. Mm. Mad scientist. <laughs> I like this. You just made my day. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look. So, Let's think about this for a moment. He's turning around like this. Currently he's in a good position in order to get a signal from here and here, which is cool. When he's behind the Mun... Well, I guess we can 
kind of skip him for just a little bit. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. So, what I would propose then, we need to get rid of this. We need to get rid of this in a good way. <laughs> the Kerbals, my friend, are not in this little satellite system. I have unmanned probes, as you can see here. It's the good old Stay Sputnik. Which I'm building up. I do believe that we have a Kerbal stranded on the Mun. And we have a Kerbal, let's see. Okay, let's bring this together. We have one Kerbal up here. No, two Kerbals up here in the Solomon Mark III. There should be a second spaceship actually, which I can't see. Oh, the explosions mark one. There are two Kerbals. We have one Kerbal which is orbiting Kerbin. Poor guy. Stranded in space as well. And I do believe that we potentially have one Kerbal in the Streamliner? No, the Streamliner exploded, so he he's dead. Poor guy. He's dead. I killed him in the in the last mission, unfortunately. Um do I have a Kerbal on Minmus? No, no one on Minmus. So yeah, that's it. Three Kerbals in space. Three Kerbals in space. What is Oh And an asteroid. Are you actually going to m Hold on a moment. Is this asteroid smashing into Kerbin? Is it... Oh hell, it kinda looks like it. Hold, hold on a second. If this baby smashes down on Kerbin, this will not be fun times. Not for the Kerbins anyways. A periapsis... 120... Hmm. We may survive. We may die. 120 is darn close. That's very close. That's... That's too close for comfort, actually. What do we have? We have another one which is flying by. We have a third... Where do all those asteroids come from? Bloody hell. I haven't had an asteroid in like ages. And now as you pop up, Nanopest, we have asteroids for days. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Should we try and capture one? Hmm. Hmm. I haven't tried to capture an asteroid. This would be a nice. Nice thing, but no, we have a mission. We have a mission and we need to stay on track. We want to send up another satellite into orbit and it shall go to Minmus. Let's let's do this. Boop -de -de -boop. Just quickly need to refill my drink. Just bear with me a moment. One cannot talk. If his throat is dry like the Sahara. Chin chin. Cool, there we go. I'm, I'm running out of drinks as well. Always a good thing to do when you're on stream. Let's have a look. Potentially. I mean... In Kerbal Space Program, in the vanilla version, you don't have things like food and drink and water, so the Kerbals only can die when they explode. Explosions. So, potentially, what you can do, let me quickly show you, if you're not aware of the solar system in which we're in, 
let me demonstrate the wonderful universe of Kerbal. You can basically send out your Kerbals anywhere in the solar system, which is not so small. Going back to the tracking station. So, we're here, alright, on Kerbin. That's our little um, launch station in which we can launch our stuff. We have a MUN, we have a little planet orbiting, orbiting which is a Minmus. Actually, Minmus is a moon, so yeah, cut this part. And then, if we go out, uh, those are all asteroids. Ignore those for the moment. Da, 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 da. There we go. So we have the sun in the middle, as of any universe existing. We have Moho, we have Eve, we have Duna, which is a beast. We have Dress, out here is Jewel, and Elo. Elo is the furthest planet outside in the Kerbal universe. And if we click on him, and if we scroll in, you can see, I think Elo doesn't have any moons and nothing. No, Elo is all alone. All alone in the dark and endless space. He ain't has no friends, no moons, no suns. Just a vast dark. Oh well. Okay, so let's go to... There we go. Let's go to Chul. Bloop. And if you go here to Chul, you can see that Chul actually has quite a couple moons. We have Paul, we have Bob, we have Tylo, we have Wall, and we have Lacey. So yeah, t to answer your question, you can. You can indeed. There are some funky mods out there which add things, things like uh, food and drink for your Kerbals. So you need to have enough supplies in order to get out there. And if you don't make it back, the Kerbal die. Which is sad. But you can conquer the universe. You can be Napoleon in the 21st century. with spaceships. Cool. Let's build a rocket. I'm just trying to think. I mean, Minmus is not that far away. So we potentially can use the same rocket again as we did for the Mun. Let's just bring this up. Scrolly scroll. That's all the different kind of rockets which I've built. I can indeed. So, let me show you, let me present you. This is the current rocket which I used in order to go to the MUN. So we have a couple of big solid rocket fuel boosters. They're huge. You have like a little atom engine. <laughs> Pardon me. A nuclear engine, a little liquid fuel tank, and then we have the satellite on top with those tiny little rings are decouplers, so we can separate the stages. You can indeed name the rocket. This will be Minmus Satell Satellite. 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 Minmus Satellite Nanopest. There we go. You just became a rocket, my friend. Named after a viewer in the Minmus mission stream. Explosions. Cool, there we go. Let's save this. As you can see, if we go to load, M, I was M, 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 M. Minmus satellite nanopast. Welcome to my safe game. Cool. So, let's not lose any time. Oh, you're more than welcome. I love to do uh, the, the tiny little things and show my appreciation for every viewer which is coming in and watching the stream. So.